There are conflicts that have lasted so long, injustices that have been so heavy, that people will not be able to solve their conflicts without help from outside. There are so many stereotypes, there are so many misunderstandings between people in the Western and the Islamic world, that this is a threat to stability. And that suddenly provided a ground for trying to do what many had felt that Bush the Elder and Clinton had failed to do, and that was to change the world. And this turned out a disaster. What is peace? It's a difficult question. We act as if we are fighting desperately for survival, but that's not the way the world is anymore. People would love the United States to be part of the whole world again, to be part of the whole world community. To me, the benefits of peace are obvious in the sense that if there is peace, you can concentrate on other stuff. In the peace culture, a conflict is a problem that emerges, and you try to solve it in a way that satisfies everybody. I think that's a basic precondition for human progress is that we can keep peace with one another. What can we learn from this process? What can we give to the world out of this period of conflict? I think in terms of conflict resolution, dialogue's the key. We all have to accept that none of us have a sustainable possibilities for the, the kind of lifestyle we have. Especially if we start using nuclear weapons to solve these problems, then we are going to move into a paroxysm of violence that will make World War II look like a picnic.